Hi friends, Simit here from informtrades.com. In this video, I want to take a look at pyramiding the turtle way, how we can use uh, the ATR indicator average true range to scale. This is based on a post shared on Inform Trades by uh, IT member Luke Myers. So definitely thanks for, to Luke for, uh, for sharing this with us. Wanted to take his post and sort of put it in the video format to help us learn. Okay, key points. Uh, the first indicator we'll need, or sort of the keystone of this whole approach to pyramiding, you know, pyramiding basically is adding positions to ride trends. It's a way of getting the most out of a trend. Uh, the key to this method is the average true range indicator. Um, so, and that's an indicator on your chart. It's basically based on, as the name suggests, calculating the average range over a average range per per, per candle per hour or whatever the, the time frame of the candle is. Um, over a given number of periods. So using, for instance, in this ex example, we'll use 14 periods. What's the average range over those past 14 days for each daily session? Uh, we set our initial stop loss at two times the average range. So once we know what the average range is, multiply by two, and uh, our that's the distance between where we enter and our, where our first stop loss is placed. As price moves one average true range in our favor, we move all, we move our stop loss up uh, by one, all of our positions up by one, and we add another, uh, a new position that's two average ranges down. This strategy is meant to ride and get the most out of trends. This is a extreme trends trading strategy, and what I mean by that is that for the really great trends where the market ends up going parabolic, this will, this is the way to get the most out of that. As part of that, you are going to have to endure many small losses along the way. So it's one of those things where, uh, the, you know, your win rate is very low, but the wins are going to be extremely large relative to losses if you execute right. So it really requires a lot of discipline and as well as being comfortable with having this type of strategy. Okay, getting right to an example. Uh, first, you know, the average range is just the risk management and scaling part of it. So you still have to know what your entry signal is, which is obviously a whole separate, you know, subject. Um, but just as an example here, it's an Aussie yen chart. Let's say, you know, here we have a, a few tight candlesticks, doji uh, format or doji candles. Let's say this is a support level here. So we have our entry signal. Price is about 80. Average true range, this indicator here for the past 14 periods is 0.75. So basically the average range is 75 pips a day. We multiply that by two, we get, you know, 1.5 or 150 pips. So if we enter at 80, our stop loss is going to be 78.50. Okay. That's our first, uh, you know, where we get our first starting point. Now, price moves in our favor. Once price moves to 75 pips, which is one average true range, then we uh, we move our, you know, our initial stop loss up by 75 pips, and we add a new position. Now, when we add our new position, we also want to look at what the average true range is. Now, it's gotten a little more volatile. Average true range, as this chart illustrates here, is going to fluctuate, you know, based on the the volatility over the past, you know, trading session. So now it's gone up a little bit to 0.8 or 80 pips. So our initial, our new position that we're adding here is going to be 160 pips away. Again, you know, as the market moves, then the market moves 80 pips in our favor, and now we just move everything up 80 pips. You know, we move our, our initial position up 80 pips. The one we added uh, the second time, the first time we added something, we moved that one up 80 pips. And, uh, you know, here, average true range still is 80. Then we add another position. So this is how you can illustrate that as the trend is moving in your favor, you just keep adding position. Um, now, where this really works is in trends where there isn't much of a pullback. Okay, so eventually you're going to get a pullback. For instance, you might get stopped out here. Um, because you're adding more risk each time, when you do get stopped out, if you get stopped out early, you might not make that much. You might even lose uh, money. But what you're really looking for is something where you enter here and you don't get stopped out. There isn't really a move of an average true range against you uh, until something like this. Uh, and that's where you have this huge position. You get to ride it all the way, and you, you exit here. Um, as noted, you know, the, the win rate on this type of strategy is going to be really low, um, and you have to have the discipline because you don't know when that big trend is, trend is going to kick off. So you really have to have be comfortable with this and have the discipline to, to move your average true range every day. Uh, you, you don't have the luxury of missing missing anything because if you miss out, you're going to miss the whole move. Uh, that's about it. If you have anything else, anything you want to share, join us at informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.